From paleo to keto, diets are like fashion trends. They come and go, and we're never really sure if we like them or not. In the past few years, intermittent fasting has gotten a lot of attention. People say it's easy as pie, no pun intended. And if you've been looking for a reason to try it, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll tell you everything you need to know about intermittent fasting. Before we get in too deep, remember, always consult with your doctor before making dietary changes. Intermittent fasting is a diet where you eat food only at certain hours. Basically, you fast intermittently. And there are three main types. Number one, the 16-8 method, or lean gains protocol. If you're cool with skipping breakfast, this may be the method for you. It's super easy. You just eat dinner, go to bed, wake up and fast forward through your daily eggs or cornflakes, and head straight into lunch. The point is to fast for 16 hours and eat within an 8-hour window. Number 2. Eat Stop Eat If you're the kind of person who likes sprints over marathons, the Eat Stop Eat method might work for you. All you have to do is fast for a full 24 hours once or twice a week. Hydration is key, but only the natural stuff, nothing artificially sweetened. Last but not least, the 5 to 2 diet. If habit tracking is your jam, the mighty 5 to 2 diet will keep you busy. You eat 500 to 600 calories on two non consecutive days of the week, like a Tuesday and Thursday. And for the remaining five days, you can eat whatever you want, no calories barred. But wait, pump the brakes. Even though intermittent fasting is one of the more doable diets out there, it still needs commitment. Chomping down on a whole pizza on non fasting days will definitely derail your progress. Eating controlled portions can help you stay on track. And yes, your favorite snacks or desserts are allowed. So far, this diet sounds pretty straightforward. But when you're fasting, what's really going on inside your body? Let's take a look. Impact of intermittent fasting on hormones. Insulin. Insulin is like the person who flags off a car race. It tells your body when to start conserving fat and when to stop it from breaking down. Too much insulin is a problem, especially if you want to lose weight. But intermittent fasting can help. Fasting is known to be more effective at reducing insulin resistance than cutting out calories entirely. Human Growth Hormone The human growth hormone does just that. It helps your body grow, or the human growth hormone, which helps cell regeneration and reproduction. But did you know that intermittent fasting can also trigger an increase in HGH, which boosts metabolism and burns fat? Just one of the many reasons to give fasting a shot. Norepinephrine. This hormone may be stressful to pronounce, but it's perfectly named. Norepinephrine sends fight or flight signals to our nerves, which tell the brain that it's time to stress out and panic. But it's not all bad. This hormone can help wake up the fat sleeping in your body and use it for energy. In general, intermittent fasting keeps your insulin low, which is great for your metabolism. But if you're still not convinced, don't worry. Sticking to a diet is not for everyone, and that's okay. But if you're open to the idea, fasting for only short bursts of time may be easier than cutting out certain foods entirely. You should enjoy food. Total restriction is not fun, and definitely a recipe for disaster. Intermittent fasting isn't a one-size-fits-all formula, so remember to find what works best for your body and lifestyle. Have you tried intermittent fasting? Did you see long-term results from any diet plans you've attempted?